Yeah. Welcome back. You've just caught me blacking out these forks. Did I even get that? I'm not sure. Probably not. So, and once these are dried, we're going to try mm, a little bit of a paint job. I'm not going to say it's going to work, especially with what paint I've got left. But we're going to try it anyway, and we'll see how it goes. So, I'll let this all just dry, and then we'll be back and we'll try it again. But, let's make it easy. Through the magic of cameras, let it be done. Alright, we're back. Now, once you've got your forks or whatever you're painting laid out, grab a can and scrap paper. It doesn't matter what it is. Paint. Take it. Now, me. I actually want to block off one side and only do one side. So, now, get your paint. Lay right up the piece of cardboard and And now I let the motor seam dry. Uh, maybe it's got a little bit more. Uh, now we'll let this section dry. And when we come back, we'll do this side, under here, let that dry, and we'll work it out. So, that actually looks really cool. It's like a bloody mess. Alright, we'll let that dry, and we'll come back and see how it is. So, we'll be back. Alright, now that that's done, I'll sort of jump the skip, forgot about ease. Now we'll do
smell of that, that dry. And we'll see what it looks like. Alright. That's done. Now it's up to you to be judge. I only did one side. That way, I can do something else on the other side. But, we got the blue, we got red. So that's it. That's all that it takes to do a splatter job. Chuck a clear coat over it afterwards, or a couple of cans off it, and away you go. So I don't know if we've made the ten minute mark. If not, I don't care. But let me know, red or blue. I'll possibly we'll paint the bike again again so if you're new to this channel and you just enjoyed that hit the subscribe button drop the thumbs up if you've been watching this channel for a while let me know what you want to see I'm over trying to think of stuff. Tell me what you want to see. So, in the next video, peace out.